Okay, today we are going to be making like the world's easiest cinnamon rolls. It is a way for you to make a sugar-free cinnamon roll. You can do it either sugar-free or full sugar, whatever your desire is. Um, we start with a uh, crescent dough sheet. Pillsbury makes these. They also make um, a dough sheet that isn't crescents. I think they call it a... Um, a fake one. A pastry sheet. Um, but pretty much year-round you can find these crescent dough sheets. And I use anywhere from two to four of these containers, depending on how big I want my cinnamon rolls. We're just going to do an average size cinnamon roll today, so we're going to use just two of these. And I popped it, and it's wanting to stick in the can, of course. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Well, because somebody ended up taking a little too long. So. It wasn't me. I'm not saying it was you. I'm saying it was somebody else. So we've got our sheet and we've unrolled it here. And then we've got another one, which we're just going to pop out of here real quick. These are homemade cinnamon rolls. They're better, in my opinion, than what you get, you know, pre-made in the cans. Do cinnamon rolls normally come in a can? Oh. Um, Pillsbury makes cinnamon rolls in a can that you just pop out and put in the oven. Or you eat straight. Ew. Not raw. That would be disgusting. What? You mean that you don't want raw cinnamon rolls? Nope. Sure don't. Rude. Okay, so what we're doing is I've got silicone mats right here. And I'm just going to join these two parts. Won't survive, Doctor. The faster you can use this dough, the better, because as it gets warm, it gets a little sticky. So sticky dough is kind of a pain to work with. Okay, I've got about a cup of a mixture of three types of sugar-free brown sugars, so artificial brown sugars. And then to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of Cylon cinnamon. I like Cylon because it has health benefits. And sounds snazzy, too. Well, it's expensive, but... She's she says as she just dumps more in. Well, it's got health benefits. Ooh, healthy, healthy cinnamon rolls. Man, that's uh -huh. an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, hey, I've got like a, uh, I, you know, I've got a giant ass like triple layer chocolate cake, but I add a strawberry on top. So, so you it get has, in your fruit, so it's... It has health benefits. That's right. Isn't that correct? That's exactly how it is. Okay, so this is super simple. You've got your dough laid out. Here's your um, cinnamon brown sugar. We're not going to add any butter or anything to this. Butter. It's moist enough as it is. Can you believe it doesn't have butter? Can you believe it's not butter? Well, actually, well in a, if we lived in one of three states, we wouldn't be allowed to say that. <laughs> anyway, That's so... I'm just going to put this mixture onto the dough, leaving it a little bit on the, the ends. I want to get it all the way to the sides though, because that's going to be a cinnamon roll there. So we're just spreading this out real quick. And then when you cut it, you can make them you can make them thin. You can make them super thick. So you could just make one. You don't even have to cut it. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how well that would work, but okay if you say so. Just take a big old bite out of it. Throw it in the oven. Just take a big old. Oh god, that'd be disgusting. Uh. 
A cinnamon roll log. Hmm, I wonder how that would turn out. We'll have to try that one time. <laughs> it certainly wouldn't come out very well. You never know. It, I it... was making a poop joke. Oh. <sighs> he was making a joke. Did you get it? <clears throat> do, you, do you think it'd be anything like a Yule log? <laughs> You're so weird. Well, okay. I learned it from you. Are so, you proud of me, Mama? <laughs> You're special, son. My mom says I'm special. So here we go. That's it's that simple. I've pulled the uh, the brown sugar to the edge here because that's going to be my center. This is going to be over here to the left is going to be my wrapping point, so I don't want the sugar down there. And then we're just going to start rolling it. You know, you try to keep it as tight as possible, but, you know, it just is what it is. Okay, so now I'm just pinching the ends. And then I take the other ends and I flatten them out to make it a, a uh, yeah. You know what, oh, wait, in here, it, it's got a little tongue on the, on the end of it. It's, it's got a little... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, see? It had the tongue on it. We don't care. No, we did indeed care. Okay, so now we take our, our roll and we cut it. <laughs> I'm trying to decide how many cinnamon rolls I want. What, are you going to actually eat them? Don't give me well. I'll so let's see. Um, <laughs> I can two. do I can do four, six, or eight. You could also do one. So if if I did four, it would be that big. Those are big cinnamon rolls. So I think I probably want to do six. So I'm just marking it real quick. You're gonna kill okay. the doctor. And this is a um, this is a bread knife, which works really well for this. If you don't have that, then I would recommend a chainsaw. You can also use um, you can also use dental floss, preferably non-flavored, and you can wrap it around it and then pull them tight and that will also cut through. Here is my pan ready to go in the oven. I'm just going to grab a little bit of this brown sugar and do a little sprinkle because why waste it? And then we're going to just put a simple little glaze on top and we'll go ahead after they're cooked. After they're cooked and we'll go ahead and show them to you. Um, when we're done. <laughs> okay, we're back. Here are our gorgeous cinnamon rolls. Gorgeous. 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 I have let them cool just slightly. They're still pretty warm. And I am going to take, I made a quick little glaze. This is just a uh, sugar-free powdered sugar again. It's monk fruit powdered sugar with a little bit of uh, cream added to it. So it made a nice little glaze and we're going to go ahead and glaze our cinnamon rolls. Glaze everywhere. Now if you really wanted to, uh, if you made these for people that you wanted to make a joke on, Instead of using that glaze, just get a big old heaping thing of ranch dressing. Ew! Oh. <laughs> that would be so disgusting. Can you imagine biting into something expecting <laughs> sweet and having ranch dressing? Mm -hmm. oh. Gag. Or better yet, instead of using powdered sugar, you get the heavy use cream. Use flour. Uh, well, that too. <laughs> that would be gross. Yeah, you use flour 
You use like a uh, you use heavy cream and you use ranch. Gross. So you get a, a sour milk top. Okay. And there are our cinnamon rolls. Ready to eat. Look at that. Don't they look sneezy? They come out of the pan and there you go. That's what they look like. Nice and warm. See you next time.